Right, so we're here with uh, Daniel Scott at the Pear Tree. Uh, he's played a, a set for us and we're uh, going to interview him to find out some more about uh, where he's come from. Um, so Daniel, can you tell us a bit about your, your music and uh, so, yeah. yeah. Because I've got so many different influences, uh, lots of different sort of genres, uh, you can know this way, but like, I'd say the odd song, like, like goes from chill there to get funky, so I like a bit rock, so I just try and get into different genres of everything, so it can change all the time, but uh, most of it's probably better. Is it one of these tired questions? What what music do you do? Definitely, I just really can't uh, sort of describe the music. And, uh, let alone one more, not even one second. So, because it changes all the time. I'm sure that's the same thing for most artists, but just depends. Because after a year, you can change completely. So just depends. Well, so. you were playing something uh, earlier on that you composed two days ago. Yeah, yeah. That so was yeah. pretty funky. Uh, I like that kind of jazz funk, so, but then I imagine like a year's time I'd have I'd miss it something else and get completely different genres. So I just sort of where it play, it just something I'll have to I'll play about the chords and uh, it just depends on where it's coming out. Because lyrics I'd say are mostly second, but a lot of people will lyrics come first, but for me I'm more like sort of a world again. So I'll play about the chords and hopefully the lyrics will reflect what that gets me. But, yeah, I'm interested. Uh, I, I I don't play any instruments. I'm, I'm much more on the audience side of music. So it's fascinating finding out how people actually go about composing music. Yeah, uh, oh, it's different every day. Just like play about with people. Like, sometimes I'm looking at some chords. I'm just playing my guitar. Some chords, you're like, oh, that's not so right. You know what I mean? So. I better get something to do that because you need to do that and separate it to so, yeah. And as with everything, there, there's no magic for it. Yeah, yeah. It's hopefully a, it's not a reggae song as well. You know, it's just something else. So, so I, I used to say, oh, is that a song that I do? Oh, all that stuff. So, you know, nah, it's pretty much a song that goes as a change. How long have you been making music? I've been making music for about three years. I'd say two years, I'd say. I've been playing guitar for about six years. I had about six months when I was in the channel. I just kind of thought to myself after that. My dad's really into music, so I got me. If I didn't have that, I don't think I'd be doing something. He's a big inspiration. He's kind of, he's got like a massive demo collection, so that's pretty much sort of guided me. And he's got a lot of 16 and stuff like that. But then there's kind of, I like to go for the different venues, so John Mayer is quite good and stuff like that. I like to just get a bit of stuff and bring that to my yeah, I, yeah, I, I get what you say, I, I, I like to collect it. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I don't think you should bring it or so, I don't know. There's so much of music in there, so so yeah, uh, can, you, can you tell us a bit about your, your influences and inspirations in, as, a, as a musician? I guess that's like so many, the, so many different influences, but I'd say the main would be like John Mayer, Steve Webber, Billy Joel, Stereophonics, the Beatles. But that's like massive on the Beatles, so that because like, he's such a big fan that's coming into them, and they're just kind of somewhat mental. The amount of songs I've wrote just are like relevant today and like, relate to them and stuff. But John Mayer, like, he takes uh, loads of different genres of creative pop, which inspires me to uh, take an obscure genre or some obscure sound and try and make it mainstream for me. So, yeah, it's lots and lots of things that I make. It sounds like your dad's been a major influence on you. He like, writes his songs, but for some reason he doesn't release them and stuff. I don't know. I didn't think it's good enough or something, but I would definitely really like one of the songs I know I did. I was, I was thinking, he's not going to try to make this cover or something. So, but it's definitely, he's probably one of the things that I Oh, I love you. Uh, you know, these two twisted arms and trying to yeah. get on stage. Oh, yeah, definitely. Because, uh, well, he's played most of the people like Vegas and I'm not playing any of this. I just don't play games. So I can't play many of those days. Oh, of course. Well, yeah. I mean, I can't play. You know, I can't play. 
I'm going to place his egg. So I'm just going to take plate for it. Obviously, it's going to be a egg. I'll let you show this. Good looks. It's a bit egg for the fire, so I'm just trying to get close to this egg. Uh, where, where would you say music in Edinburgh is where, where, where do you say? If, if I say live music, where do you think? I think, well, I don't know, like, it's probably really good Edinburgh, but Edinburgh, it's really eclectic, like, everyone's just, like, really friendly, and it's a kind of family band, and there's so many different genres, and it's this kind of garage rock, and some people just turn down, some people just pass it down, and just the band is, and it's really friendly, that's all I'm asking. I think we just never do it here. Uh, great stuff. Oh, yeah. Great stuff. Good to work with, yeah. What, what skills do you think are important? Uh, again, it's a, 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 yeah, what, what do you find useful, I suppose? What, what have you learned that you find useful in your day-to-day -day as a musician? I suppose, I'm sure I'm getting into that. Well, we could ask you about that. Uh, which websites do you think are, are, are useful? So, Bandcamp and SoundCloud pop to mind. For like uploading tracks, yeah. Well, I, absolutely anything. Anything to do with music. What websites do you visit? Facebook's. I think would be the best if you have a lot of this promotion. Because I see a lot of sponsors on it. Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, Instagram, and so on. It's a kind of connection with fans, so I think that show up a lot of fans. I kind of get to do that, but I'm going to just get to show up a little bit. Back at the top of my head. Well, hopefully we can be helpful and uh, share what we, we've, we've discovered along. Um, I'm, I'm very interested in learning um, how people learn. So, uh, it's a bit of a hard question. How have you learned to be a musician? How have you learned to make music? I think the best way to do it is it depends if you listen to what music, the more you listen to it, the better. And that just pick up stuff by ear. A lot of people don't mind getting practice, but I think that if you just listen to it, it's not pick up by ear. You might get it wrong, sort of. You know, like one chord could be, I don't know, like one chord could be somewhere. Same chord can be kind of fit, sort of thing. So there's a lot of sort of stuff in it. You can kind of get there just by that yourself. Okay. That's how I do it. Just soft talk. But then my dad came in. Just kind of sleeping at night actually, I'd tell my dad to play music. That was just kind of subconscious, really, like, really interesting. Being exposed to yeah, it, being around. Being exposed to all this different kind because he doesn't just listen to the same music. A bunch of different stuff. I think that's what really makes it bad. Just not just being open to everything. Reckon. Um, what what kind of support would you like as a as a musician? It's a hard question. I don't know. Just kind of like because you might have a sort of uh, just knowing the contacts and stuff. You know, like people to what send me music to, what websites I can do and stuff. And it's pretty much. Just, I suppose people know more methods you need to have them to have a head of them. You know, pretty much. I'm not really sure what else. Well, we'll, we'll do our best to, to try and find <laughs> more information and pass it on. If you could suggest it, yeah, definitely. Well, what would you say is missing in the music world just now for you? I heard some uh, football was kind of stuck in the stage there. Yeah. Uh, some noise that sort of went out, just kind of 